Welcome back to Astro Colony. My name is Nidals and I am going to return to this amazing game and uh, give you some more insights on what we're doing. So I did the first episode, which was basically looking at core mechanics and uh, I got a lot of comments about, yay, awesome. But I also got some comments like, I don't see the magic. And I understand that. And this is why this episode will be focused on the magic part. Uh, all the stuff that makes it sort of different from what you can, what you've seen in other colony sims or factory builders that kind of thing so let's uh, focus on that in this case for a showcase that means i'm going to be focusing on the movable platforms docking uh, with asteroid that kind of thing mining and how drones work astronauts and habitation because those are the things that actually differ what you can also see is that this space is quite different from what we ended up last time I, in order for me to show as much as possible i need to have a little functional base so i built this thing so that we can uh, we can we can walk through it. I will be walking through how it works just briefly and some of the sort of logistical setups we have here. I will, at the end of this episode, I will be giving basically my verdict and conclusion about this game. So stick around to the end to see that. What we're going to uh, work here is that at the end of the last episode, we had one of these uh, or a couple of these set up, but they were manual ones. These are just upgraded ones. So they are automatic. You can see they are just automatically gathering asteroids that come by and gathering him consolidating onto a belt it all goes into a single belt because even though i have six of these it's still not even filling up a full belt then i have the this pusher which basically says if it is cold then push it in here and then uh, get into these two uh, power plants this is a splitter on the uh, on a belt so we know how that works here we take all the ice the ice goes in here this one is deliberately not set up yet because it takes quite a bit of power and we don't need to crush the rocks into ice or the ice into water just yet because we still have a lot of oxygen production. <clears throat> and uh, then we have uh, anything that is not ice or coal goes on, gets split into two smelters. The two smelters are just also hooked up and they go out here and bring into this warehouse. This warehouse is kind of a cool thing because not only is it just a big storage, but it also means that anything in here is actually something that we can use for crafting anywhere because it's just accessible. So you don't need to go back here, pick up these things, put in your inventory and then continue crafting. That's pretty neat. Here we have a recycling center. This is something that I'm not super enthusiastic about it. Like I, I think I mentioned it last time with like, like if you have put misplace an electric cable and you pick it up again then you can't put it down again you have to put it into a recycler but in this case it's okay you got just put it into a recycler it'll eventually process all of this it'll go back into the general area and once we have it in, in here then we can use it for whatever we want i think that should be uh, pretty neat as well uh, let me just get some of these things here these are out great so that is uh, the plan as a uh, is now what we have oh whoa here is a constructor this one is just set to construct well not anymore uh it is constructing it was constructing iron bars so i don't have anything automatically going in here but and i'll just bring things in for example here i'll say see how much i have and then i say okay maybe it's time to build something else so that's uh, where we start off that means we have a nice little production here and we have a constant supply of various materials like the basic materials and it's a pretty good place to start up so let's move on to what we can only describe as our first chapter of the uh, first chapter here. We have an asteroid over here and I'd like to get this asteroid to start mining some of this iron here. And uh, if I press the C button, you can see I scan and I can see there's a lot of good stuff underneath the ground in this uh, planet. I think they call it planet. Let's call it a celestial body. Oh yeah, one more thing I want to show uh, what I did with in terms of power. And I really like that. I put it downstairs so that basically I don't have things interrupting here. What you can see is every single one, I just punched a hole through the platform and took the power down, uh, downstairs, so it's now underground. That makes it so much easier to, to manage. And what I also have here is all the belts are now at ground level and the water, my sparse amount of water here is now at, uh, at level one. So it, it kind of works and uh, that kind of maybe just a good idea, especially taking the power below the platform is really handy. So the first thing we want to do is we want to move our platform. This is in space. We can look at here. We can see we are close to this body. I've moved it over here. It starts off being a couple of kilometers away. So I moved it over here so we can see to get some traction on this. So what we want to do is we want to start by making some thrusters. They take some hydrogen. I luckily have a bit of hydrogen that I have produced in advance. And I'll put it here. 
This is now having a thrust, and if I then go a bit down, then you can see that if we go over here, yeah, it should work. It's very, very slow, but it uh, it is pushing closer. And that's basically just a waiting game until we get over here to a point where we are close to being able to dock it. That means uh, we could just build a few more of these if you feel so inclined here as well. And also build it like that. So, yes, so that they are, you can see here the thrusters are sort of thrusting a bit upwards so that we are getting it more in line. Now we can see that we are actually in line. So I need to adjust these again. Uh, just to be the middle and this one to be the middle again and then we'll see uh, we actually got a bit far too far down let's get a bit up up and therefore oh wow it goes quickly it's so quick i think don't think i need two of these i don't think i need two <laughs> but we're getting really close here so i'm gonna rotate this rotate rotate are we here yet ah eh, kind of all right what are we gonna uh, actually, we don't want to go like all the way in because you need to link these two together in a clever way. That's what we need a so-called docking station for. So let's build a docking station and we have it here. It, this is a bit complicated to build, but it kind of works. So this one can be placed here. Luckily, we got a basic science for it. And I can see that I also need a bit more. And I don't have any copper. Split that. Yes, please. And go in here. Put some of this in there. So that should build us a lot of copper plates should we need it. I don't think we need that many copper plates. But the good thing about copper plates is now, well, now we have it. And then I need to build over here. Make sure that I have somewhere to build this on so I can hook these up. So what I need to do is I need to build some tiling. Um, it. I think that we heard from the developers that they don't intend for us to just be able to do the floor tiling. They want us to actually do the foundations. You can see here there's a block foundation and then there's a flat uh, ceiling here. But we just, if if this is how it works, this is how it works. Then we can build the docking station on the other side. So now we have two docking stations facing each other, but they're not linked. Then you can go in here, click the dock, and then they dock. That means now we have a connection between these two. Uh, it is for some reason, and I think that's a bug, I hope that's a bug, it is not possible to get power from this location linked into that location. It just doesn't work. So that's a, a bit problematic, but what it does work is if I click here, then I can, for example, take a, a location here and then say, build a line, or that's line three. Uh, that's that one, that one, that one. Uh, let's see, is that the right way? Yes. So for example, if I have resources out here and I want to bring them back into my warehouse, and that's kind of what we want to do because we want to build a power plant of, or a mining operation here. So we just want to strip mine this asteroid as much as possible. However, what we also want to do is we want to make sure that we have some good power here. And I don't want to be continuing to use the coal power because I'd rather have the carbon used for something else. So what I need to do, I think I actually have researched, so I'm in the process of researching it. I want to get some solar power because that is just incredibly useful. But I can't do that yet because I don't have any of this engineering science. And uh, that means what I want to do as well, I go over here. No, I can't remember. I'll build a lab. And that lab is going to be built. Let's build it there. This lab is basically a production facility that can make engineering science if we put in some, some things here. Yes, uh, that one and that one, just fine. This should work as soon as we get the power online and getting the power is also something we've done. I will punch through this level and then build here. Uh, that's not how I wanted it. There. Like that, you can see how easily it's uh, hooked up when we have the power underneath. I think that's a really cool way of doing it and also something that's really nice now that we have to sort of use a voxel for power lines. This is working and we are getting, let's go over to our tech level up here. So we can see this goes to three. I need to get this up to how much does this take? Oh, we got it manufacturing. Then let's work on solar. I need 
30 basic science, I do have that. And then I need 15 engineering science for this, but it'll, it'll get there. So basically what we want to do now is want to wait for this. So we can switch over to power being uh, fed by solar. That's gonna be much more useful. So now we have solar panels uh, available for research or we have researched it, but we do need some gold plates that we are in the process of making in order to make it into gold wire, which I will just get back out here somehow. And uh, let's go on that line and then on that line. So it goes back in as well. And when we have the gold wire, then we can start making. I've also prepared out here, <clears throat> sorry, uh, just a bit of space for us to make make that of course i could i could sort of exceptionally just make it straight in here but uh, yeah that's there's there's some issues with the whole uh, supply chain thing with uh, because things stack infinitely at least it seems to stack infinitely then you can't sort of use a dedicated amount for any particular build what i'm going to do is i am going to build here we're going to build some solar panels on this build and then we're going to build some solar panels on the other side as well but this, uh, this will allow us to replace our other power. There we go. Well, there. And you can see that as they go in, as they get produced, we can now build more. Each of these are actually producing two. So already this is eight, one more. And then we have as much as one of the carbon plants without ever using any materials. Super nice. I mean, we're gonna use some there. So this replaces one of our power plants here. Carbon power plants, really nice. And we will just uh, expand this a bit more so that we can get uh, even further. And that, that will be something we're going to build over on the new planet as well that we've now hooked up. Because we need, we they unfortunately, currently at least, have to have separate grid, electrical grids. So let's build that over there and then we'll start working on some of the next things. All right, so we've done some preparations out on our new facility. Pave the world as we all are want to do. Put up some solar panels, 10 solar panels. That should be uh, 20 power. So this is now the time where we want to build the new stuff. The new stuff being we want to build a miner at this location. So let's try and see what the miner can do. And I want to build it pretty close to this location for some reason there. Um, now I want to build it this way. There. So you can see the two round pads. That's where we can have two drones over on the other side, the left hand side, we have the outbound. It's also where the drones come out. So I think this is going to be the ideal position for it. And then all we need to do is then that's totally not what I wanted, but okay. And uh, let's make sure that we can get it out. Ah, that's interesting. Okay. Okay. Well, that's some things here we need to remove but at least we got this one so this one can now go up and i will get it to exactly this location and there it's now powered and i'll bring the power up in this level we can see that you want to mine iron that's right next to us so that should be good then all we need is two drones because we're gonna have a maximum of two drones here, that we are going to build some drones. Unfortunately, we can't build drones, but what we can do is we can build a robot assembly because that's where we built the drones, robot assembler. And that is here. Okay, it doesn't really matter what where we build it. It's just a big clunky building and it doesn't, it's only gonna be used for like building these once. I am not going to be like having massive production of this. So I'm just gonna build it in a random location and try to take this power up to the same height as the other things. Yep. And that is now powered. We can now build the robots here. There's a transport drone, which we transport, but we might come back to later. Uh, it's only for a very, very specific purpose, but we want the mining drones and we want to make two of those there. So two of those, that means we need some electronic parts and some copper bars. Let me grab those and then we can continue. So now we have the resources to build our drones. I'll put it in here. Funny enough, I built one too many. That is just how it works. All right, and we should see where the output is. Oh, the output is here. I hope it works. And uh, let's chop that. That's some quartz. Just want to get rid of that. So we are more clear. There, that's a drone. The drone's coming and the drone is going in and it's going out on the other side and going in there and here. And now we have there, a tiny bit of iron coming in. Basically just loop in, loop around for one, and that should be the second one. I can pick up the remainder of materials, and we have two drones. 
Yay, that's basically how mining works. And you can build more mines on this. And uh, if you uncover more iron locations, there is an iron location over on this side. Yeah, if we uncover that and make it available, then they will also be able to go over there. But they'll choose the first ones first. This one has uh, 802. We can't see how much is left in each, but we know that it was originally 802. It doesn't update with how much is left. It just says that it was originally 802. Yay, we got mining that is more of a sustainable mining so we can build a production line for this. Uh, for example, a production line that makes uh, specific items such as uh, the rods, that would be a good idea. And then we can bring them back here. That's uh, pretty simple because what we can do here is we can, we can get this out here and uh, put it into a smelter. The smelter can then put it into a constructor. Yeah, you know what, let me just build it and then show what it could look like. So here we built a little uh, factory and I just want to show you what it does. Just uh, here we have the mining of iron ore goes in here to the smelter. The smelter makes it iron ore into iron ingots or iron bars. Iron bars goes through here and becomes iron plates. Iron plates go out here and get split. Half of it goes into a storage and the other half goes re goes back here into into um, this location where it will then be processed into aluminium rods. It's really weird that iron bar, iron ingots can go into iron bars that can become aluminium rods and which will then again become steel screws. So I think this might not be aluminium. This might be steel or iron instead. Considering it's an iron plate plus coal, then it probably should be steel. Anyway, the steel goes out here. It gets pushed out and then it gets filled, uh, split. Half of it goes back in here. And I don't know why it actually goes back in here. Don't think it should. No, it shouldn't actually. Let's uh, just take that out. Because all it needs is now actually go back. Did I just pick up a million things here? Uh, yeah, a few of these, I guess. And that goes back into our storage like that. So we have now this little location here is making some plates and some rods which should be good. And uh, then we have it in a warehouse. We could also bring it back, but I'm having some issues right now getting it through the dock. Wow, that was the second thing. Mining with drones and a separate production line that we can set up here. And uh, we also had some coal, of course, coming in here, the new little mining location that just dipped through. <laughs> dipped through. Now, the last thing I want to show you, which is uh, kind of a big tech leap forward and also something that's really weird, is uh, astronauts. So when we build these, we can remove some of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. Uh, yes, probably. Then we can build a docking station at this location here. Yes. So this docking station will not actually connect to any uh, to another asteroid, but this can also be used to call astronaut when we have the results. Uh, when you have the research. So let's have a look at the research we need. We need to go in and uh, get some human migrations. We can call astronauts and we also need some hibernation chamber. What is also important is that we have when we get astronauts in here, they can help with research, which is way down here. You can see here, this is chemistry research and there's biology research and the space research. All of these require astronauts to help doing the research. So we need to make sure that they have some place to sleep, something to eat and some oxygen. Oxygen is pretty simple. We already have our oxygen bubble here. So as long as they're inside the bubble, that should be fine. The next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that they have something to some place to sleep. That means we are going to research the human migration and we're also going to research that one uh, because that's going to be something we need afterwards just to make sure that we can see that. Now we have human migration. Let's build some pods. Luckily, weirdly, these pods do not require any power or resources or anything. Oh, I hear the little bot chirping away. I am going to build three of these. Uh, it's time to welcome your first astronauts. Build a docking station. Uh, call them by spending gold bars and wait for the shuttle to arrive. Cool. Let's do that. And then you shut up. I know what I'm doing, I think. And, but we also need some power or some uh, something to eat. But anyway, we'll call an astronaut. There we go. He should be coming in in 30 seconds. And uh, while we have those 30 seconds, it is time for us to build some something for them to eat. We have another recipe here. And that recipe is not available. So I guess we need to research that. Uh, it's a hydrotonic. Hmm. Hmm. I thought I had that. Oh, there it is. That one. Hydrotonic. Why is that not here? Shouldn't that be in this one? Oxygen tank. 
Weird. Okay, maybe that'll only get here once uh, they are available. I will also make a little canteen for... Oh, there's the spaceship. Nice. Hello, spaceship. And we have an astronaut. Learn about the astronaut's needs. All right. Uh, they need a hibernation chamber for sleep and a canteen for food and hunger. Cool. So we make a canteen for them here. Uh, it's also important they cannot cross belts. Wow, you're... There we go. In the hydrogen generator. Ah, that's why. So the hydrogen generator. That's why we couldn't build it there in the oxygen generator. Cool. But we're first going to build a little canteen for them. That's going to be here. And weirdly enough, they can't eat from a canteen. They must have a dining table next to it. So build a dining table and then they'll be happy. Uh, you are, when we click on them, oxygen, hunger and sleep. That's the three needs. So we need to make an oxygen or a hydrogen thing. Yeah. Just making sure that there's an actual path here. So let's make a hydrogen generator there. And I'm going to make it this way. There. So we need to punch through to get some power in. I really like this below ground and I would highly recommend it if you are... Oh, it's already hooked up. Yep, already hooked up. There? No, it's not. Why it's not? Ugh. Okay, let me just... Ah, almost always hooked. Almost hooked up. We can also hook up the other one now. Do, 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 do. There. To the icebreaker because we might need some more water at this point. Get the icebreaker going. Uh, this icebreaker will now make some water and I'm going to build a water tank as well. We're just going to make it here. That should connect. It does connect. Uh, let's just take these out. They're kind of in the way. And also make sure that our line is now connected from the output of the water icebreaker there. That should start filling up these. Not yet. There. Now it's filling up. Good. And we can then take it again from this location. Oops. Inbound. Great. This is now not making hydrogen, but it's going to make hydrotonic. And I have just a bit of quartz here, and then we should make some hydrotonics. That is what they need, but they need to bring it all the way over here for them to consume it. And this is where the robot comes in, the transport bot comes in. If we can get it, and... Mm, yeah, yeah. I'm going to build one of those bots and I'm just going to make, make one and see if it I can make it work. It has been super buggy for me, but I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot here. We'll give it a shot. So I'm going to go... Mm, we don't really care what it looks like, but I'll just do... This is a very temporary build. I like everything else. We just need three of these. I do not have that. Uh, can I get it? Electronic parts... Here. And how many we need? 12. There. And what else do we need? I think we also need some of this to go in here and make. Hold on. That's actually the plates. Should go in here. There. There you go. You are making just a few of these, and I need three. And then I can build a little spider drone. This drone should be, if things are working correctly, should be automatically going from this location. And since there is a path here, uh, there's almost a path. I don't know if it can pass over that. It might not be able to. Then we'll see. We'll see. And come on. Give me the last one. There. Three. Give me the drone. There we go. That's a drone. And then I'm, I got a drone. Where's the drone? There's a happy little drone. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove this. And we can now see that it's not quite working. What if I try this? This is uh, just for the sake of uh, trial and error. And if I take this out, then there should be a path for the little drone to go. Yay! The little spider drone can work over here and it should be going into this one. It doesn't pick up anything though. That's it. It walks back and forth. Let's have a look at this guy. Is he? He's very hungry. Man, those 
They eat a lot. And it goes in. Doesn't do anything, though. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. I'm going to pick it up. And I'm going to feed it in here. There. And then he will go in and have something to eat. Nom, 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 nom. Perfect. What we want, the what we can do next with these ro uh, astronauts, uh, that's the last thing we can do with these at the moment. Uh, at least, what I can do, I can build a school and then I can train you to be a blue, yellow, or red. It would be nice if there was something. I think this is a scientist. Because over here, we have like the opportunity to have scientists and they're blue. So what I also need is a study point, I think, maybe. There. And he's in here, big training to become a scientist. And lo and behold, exit scientist. There we go. Mm, you're kind of green compared to you. I wanted you to be blue. Oh, okay. So you're just training to become a green one. And then you afterwards have to go over here and become blue. That takes a bit of time. And we can, in the meantime, summon another one. And we can have... Oh, wow, that's quick. Sweet! Another astronaut! Yay! You can be a yellow one. And of course we need to get more quartz in order to get more hydrotonics so they will be happy. And then we'd... Oh, construct a canteen. That's funny how I don't have a canteen constructed. Because I constructed it before. Oh no. There. Now I can build a canteen again. Canteen. There. And then I constructed the canteen. The little run is happy. Large station. Okay, that is fine. All right, so that's basically where we are right now. You uh, you should be able to get over there, right? And here. Ah, that's another thing. It deletes. When you destroy a building, then everything in it gets deleted. And we have all of this for, for recycling that we can then set into recycling. That's... Hold on. Where is the guy? Oh, he's in here. He's in here. Okay, so he went in there and now he's working. Can we see him in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's working. Nice. Nice. All right. So we have a scientist working in there. I don't know what you're doing in there, but hey, we have scientists. So I guess that's kind of the... Oh, you're hungry. Ah, okay. Hey, look at that. What? How many... Okay, they're, they're breeding. I don't know anything here. What is your problem? You're waiting for hydrotonic. Yeah, but it kind of destroyed all of your hydrotonics. Oh, no. Okay, so they think it's time for my verdict because uh, I know what's going to happen in two seconds because the head fell off the astronaut and that means it's going to crash very soon. And that's basically where I want to take it. So I think that this game has immense potential. It's super fun to build. It is very intuitive, all the things that work. But at this point, I got to say it, too many bugs. There are a lot of things that I've been working around in this one, trying not to expose the bugs, but I've also played a lot of this. And at the end, I had like a list of 10 things that I wasn't allowed to do or didn't work or broken things. And oh, if you release it, I would much rather have that you didn't spend time. This is to the developers. Don't spend time on all of this, but spend time on stabilizing this because this gives you something to play and uh, gives us some a good experience and and. and just allows us to build more factories, even if it's limited functionality. But right now, there are just too many bugs for me to really, really enjoy it. And that's also why this will be the last of my showcases building for the time being. I will be, I think this has a lot of potential, as I said, but it definitely needs three months of stabilization. Get out all the bugs. I think there are lots and lots of features to have tons of hours of fun, but it needs to be something like the I'm not even going to mention because by the time that you will watch this video, maybe they've already fixed a lot of them. But there are some things that, that just, let's just get those, get those fixed so that you can have a nice clean experience. Maybe it's feature limited, but we can have fun with the features we have instead of sort of fearing uh, this thing. Because at some point soon, this one will crash. Uh, and that's just, it's, it's not fun. <laughs> not fun to have a game crashing or just things that you know should work and then they don't. Um, so... I'm having a lot of fun with this game, but I'm also just going like, okay, fine. I've had a had a bit of experience with it, and now I'm going to put it aside, let the developers work on it. 
uh, it is possible to get access to the beta if you are interested in right now and help the developers on finding bugs, reporting bugs. There's a Discord and uh, you can buy it on their access to the beta on their website, but do read it first because there's a difference between being, buying Steam access when it releases and buying beta access. I don't really know how it was. I backed it on Kickstarter. So do uh, do check it out. So I think uh, the Final Verdict Dance, super amazing, really fun. Uh, has lots of cool features and gameplays. Bit too unstable for me to enjoy it anymore at this point. So I will be, um, I'll be uh, leaving it for the time being. But I'll definitely come back when uh, when it's more stable. And uh, I don't, I won't even say more feature complete because I think there's tons of features we just never got around to testing. So uh, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will be doing more of these kind of uh, showcases and uh, exploration and let's tries for upcoming games. So if you have some upcoming games within sort of my genre of play, then uh, by all means, let me know and I will take a look at those. Uh, well, if they if I find them interesting, we'll be of course continuing with other of these kind of games, uh, both on Twitch where we explore, and uh, then I will do these kind of showcases afterwards on YouTube, so that I sort of not a complete bumbling idiot, but uh, only just uh, just have tried things before. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Be sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comment sections, and of course, if you want to see more, you know where the subscribe button is. As I'm sure you've already clicked it, right? Take care, and as always, stay effective.